Hello, it's time for another mantra song. Mantra songs are simply song-based meditations. Think of them like an extension of your existing meditation or yoga practice. It's something that you can listen to because music does incredible things in us. And when we listen to them regularly and we listen to songs regularly, they start to infuse themselves in us. They get their fingers down in us and they do cool things and they transform us. So these mantra songs are meant to be used as a practice. And if you're one of my patrons, which thank you for those of you who are, um, you get the actual songs of them themselves. So go visit me on patreon.com slash benthomasonline to find out all about that. Today's mantra song is really special to me. It's a song that I wrote a few years ago. Uh, and so before we begin, before I share the story and the song itself, I want to invite us into breathing and presence. Time to push pause on all the other thoughts. Put away your to-do list. These next few minutes are for you. And so be fully in it. Breathe and be present. I want to start today's mantra song by sharing a little bit of my story with you. Um, you see, for years I was a pastor in a church, and a few years ago I was working in a non-denominational Christian church, and uh, like so many pastors in so many churches, I was sorting out my own faith, trying to figure out what it was I believed and what that actually meant in the world. Um, and during this season, increasingly, I felt less compelled to even want to call myself a Christian because all the Christians that I saw around me in media and in public um, seemed to be drawn into this sort of small-minded thinking, this like you're in, you're out, us versus them kind of thinking. And I knew in my heart, that's not the kind of spirituality I want in my life. Um, and so I did what every angry music pastor does. I went home to write an angry song full of dark minor chords and cuss words, except I didn't even keep the cuss words in the song. But I wrote a song and I sat down and the experience of writing the song shapes me even today. Um, and I want to share that song with you today. Um, it's called Not Us, Not Them. All those words you say, all those microscopic twists of tongue you keep praying louder and your heart will seep out like rogue heat seeking missiles. Your heart will sing out and play its song forever. So mourn the fallen souls and empty cathedrals Mourn morality that comes in shapes and colors Build your arsenal, defend your false contentment Beg the clock rewind, hold tighter to your textbook answers Voices in the garden have rendered me naked and ashamed. All the story you tell to build the temple, walls will separate, separate, separate you. All your future fear, all your paranoia, all your us versus them What's the problem? Is the house too crowded? Climb your pedestal Colonize the masses Fight your holy wars And isolate your children And isolate your children And isolate your children
But we are But we are Just one My friend My friend We are one Not two Not us Not them But we are, we are just one, my friend. Oh, my friend, we are one, not two, not us, not them. But we are, we are just one, my friend. Oh, my dearest friend, not to, not us, not them. Oh, but we are, we are just one, my friend, one, my dearest friend, not to, not us. As I finished writing the song, these words just started pouring out of me. It wasn't until a couple years later when I was doing some reading and found that the word Alleluia simply is a two-part word that means praise be to Yahweh. And so just by singing Ale, I was acknowledging that praise be, praise is, praise exists. And that the God of the universe, the maker of all things, that inhabits all things, is in every living human being. That acknowledgement to me helps me see the good in all things and believe again in something bigger than myself. And allows me to let my guard down just to be, not to be right, just to be. Peace be with you, my dearest friend. Oh, yeah.